Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're going to do the 1995 season. We're opening the 1995 season, opening day against the Baltimore Orioles. Having come off our um, 94 season where we lost the World Series in seven games to the Houston Astros. And so we will get on with this game. And we will take a look at um, the starting lineups here. Um, let me see. We are missing. It looks like we're missing somebody. Center field. We're missing maybe center field and something else. Well, uh, let's see if we can uh, remedy that. We need to um, we need to go to our lineup and starting pitcher. Okay, so center field. We are going to put Lance Johnson in center. And we are missing somebody else. Left, we have left, right, center. We have DH. We have first. We're missing second base. Second base, I am going to put in Felix Fermin. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, let's get him down there. And then we will put him at second. And now we are ready to start the game. We should be. And uh, we are. And we're. Lance Johnson is batting against Mike Messina. So we will swing away. Let me put myself up here a little further. And uh, that's going to be a base hit, leadoff base hit for Lance Johnson. All right, I guess I should probably make myself smaller. And we will, let's see, next batter is Darren Jackson. I'm just going to head away with him. They threw over, and they got him out. They picked him off. Man. All right, so we got another base hit. That would have been great if uh, Messina hadn't picked off Lance Johnson. So now we have... Chris Hoyles, the Hoyley man. Chris Hoyles, we have Chris Hoyles? Huh. I didn't even know we had Chris Hoyles. All right, Julio, Fra or maybe he was the catcher? Maybe, no, Hoyles is the catcher, okay. So, Franco is up. Uh, or is he? Yeah, Franco is up. And he walks Franco. So we have... We have two outs, two runners on, and Robin Ventura. And they walk Robin Ventura. The bases are loaded. Moose walks the bases loaded. And uh, Tim Raines is up. And they walk in a run. Moose walks in a run. Nice. We're up one nothing. And that brings to the plate Ron Karkovice. Showing my bald head there. And Ron Karkovice is going to ground out. So, you knew it was going to end. Karkovice is not a big uh, uh, batting average guy. So, uh, Francisco Mendoza. And Francisco Mendoza apparently is <coughs> a former White Sox player. He was, a, a guy, I guess, in our system. But anyway, we have McDowell dealing to him. And... Um, he is going to fly out. So he's out. And that brings the next guy up. I did not catch who the next guy was, but he lays the base hit, whoever he is. So uh, who was that? That was Hammonds. Jeffrey Hammonds just got a base hit. 
Going to pitch to the next batter, and he's going to he's going to hit a fly ball to Lance Johnson in center, and that'll be two down. And uh, Leo Gomez is up. Leo Gomez is their DH, and he's going to pop out to Kark. Whoa! Karkovice drops the ball. Come on. All right, so they're still two out with two on. And then they're going to lace a base hit that's probably going to tie the game. No, they didn't. I guess they didn't have two. Maybe they didn't have two on. I could have sworn they did. But anyway. Um, now that's a high pop-up. That's an elevator home run right there, and it's an out. So they didn't get any runs. And we're still ahead one nothing with Guillen up against the Moose. And he's going to get a base hit. Guillen lacing the base hit. You can see beautiful Camden Yards here, which I have seen many times in person since I live in Maryland. And um, you have Felix Fermin is the batter. And Felix Fermin's going to get a base hit, baby. And, uh, of course, Guillen's going to stop at second. So we've got runners on at first and second, nobody out, and Lance Johnson, who got a base hit his last time up, and he's going to hit a pop fly. I mean, one down. And Darren Jackson is up the next bat. Darren Jackson is going to hit a fly ball. That's probably not going to advance anybody. Now all of a sudden we have two outs with the two men on, and Frank Thomas, the big hurt, is out. And the big hurt is going to hit a fly ball, and we get no runs. But we still are ahead, one nothing. We go to the bottom of the second with McDowell pitching, and there's one down quickly. Um, Nick McEwen, the first baseman. I don't know if he was real or not, but whether he's real or not, he struck out and he's going back to the bench, and that brings up Chris Elwell. Again, don't know if Chris Elwell ever existed, but now he exists going back out to his position because he got out. And we're ahead 1-0 top of the third with Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco up at the plate. And he is going to ground out. So there is one down. Let me move myself a little bit further up here. And uh, Robin High Ventura. Ventura Highway. And he's going to pop out. So he's out. And that brings to the plate Timmy Reigns. We got two down, nobody on. Still ahead, one nothing. And he is going to ground out to the pitcher. And that will be it for us in our third, our half of the third. We go to the bottom of the third. On the road here in Baltimore with McDowell dealing to Miguel Arias. Again, don't really know if Miguel Arias was real, but he struck out. Um, Francisco Mendoza, their center fielder. They got a lot of no-name guys. Guys that either, man, he struck out too. McDowell is smoking hot here today. And uh, Jeffrey Hammonds, the left fielder. Now, Jeffrey Hammonds was real. And he just hit a real home run that tied the game. So it is one all because we keep pitching to Jeff Jeffrey Hammonds and he should. And uh, Bobby Higginson. Now I know Bobby Higginson was real too. I think he was on Detroit. Um, so Baltimore may have gotten him from Detroit in, in this um, out of the park world that we're in right now. Karkovice is up in a 1-1 game, top of the fourth against the Moose, and I don't expect us to get too much against the Moose, so this might be a uh, matter of uh, survival of the fittest here. And Ozzie Guillen up. He got a base hit last time. And he's going to ground out to short. So... That brings to the plate Felix Fermin. I think he got a base hit last. I think he did. But now he's going to ground out to short. So we get no runs on no hits there in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth in a 1-1 game. 
Um, McDowell still has plenty in the gas tank, so that's good news. And he covers first base as Franco throws him out, throws out the base runner. And the next guy is going to lace a base hit. So they've got one on with one out here in the fourth. And Chris Hoyles. Now, here's Chris Hoyles. I knew we didn't. He struck him out. Struck him out. So, uh, we got two down and uh, Nick McEwen, the first baseman. And they walk Nick McEwen. I don't think he's that dangerous, but El- anyway, Chris Elwell is up. And Chris Elwell is going to hit a ground out to Gian to short. And that is going to be that. Here we go to the top of the fifth in a 1-1 game with Lance Johnson back to the top of the order for us. And Lance Johnson is going to fly out to left. One down. And Darren Jackson's up. And Darren Jackson is going to ground out to first base. And... uh, Frank Thomas, the big hurt. We could you really use a home run here, Frank. He hit 50-something, 50 50, 51 maybe for us last year. But there he gets a pop out, and McDowell goes back out there again. Plenty in the tank. Love to see it, top of the fifth inning. And that's going to be a slow roller to short, and did we get him? We did. Nice. Guillen with the nice relay in time. Brings up Francisco Mendoza. The only dangerous guy it looks like in this lineup is Hammonds. I don't I mean I don't know how dangerous these fictional guys are, or these guys either that are fictional or never really actually made it to the um, uh, Orioles, but they did in this game. So now they've got two on. They've got two on with one out, and Bobby Higginson is the batter. That was that was uh, what's it? that was Hammonds. And now we walked Higginson. The bases are loaded. Come on, McDowell, you got to get out of this mess. Oh, it's a balk. Is it? It's a balk. <sighs> All right. So they lead two to one. Leo Gomez is up. That's going to be a shallow fly to center, and they're going to score on it. So they now, the Orioles now have a 3 to 1 lead. And that's going to be a fly. No, it's over! Lance Johnson. <laughs> oh my God. All right, well, now they're winning 4 to 1. And uh, the power bar is taking a beating for McDowell, but he gets the last out. But we're down 4-1 now. So we've got to get some offense going against the Moose. Franco is up. And there's an error on the first baseman or the shortstop, one or the other. But that allows um, our, uh, our batter to go to second base, which is great. And now Robin Ventura. And Robin Ventura is going to get a base hit. And uh, I, let's see. No. We're with no outs. I'm not going to risk it. We're going to stay at the corners with no outs. And uh, Tim Rain Sr. And he's going to lace a base hit that gets us our second run. Let's see. Ventura is an awful runner, and Bobby Higginson has a cannon for an arm. You know what that combination says to me? It says stay right where you are. So, but we've still got no outs, and now we have a deep, now medium deep fly ball. Was that a base hit? That was a base hit. I thought it was an out. All right, well, the bases are loaded. They might want to think about taking Messina out, but we got Guillen up, and Guillen, I know, has at least one base hit today. Oh, did he double him off? No. Just one out, still bases loaded, and now Felix Firmino. 
And Felix Fermin is going to hit into a not a double play. So it's 4-3. And that brings Lance Johnson up, the guy who let the ball get over his head last inning. And he threw up. But we're now we're back down by only a run. It is 4-3. McDowell still looks like he's got some stuff in the tank here for the bottom of the sixth. Um, but he allows a base hit. I'm going to try a pitch out. Let's see. Let's do a pitch out. And nobody was going. So... Strikeout. Nice. McDowell strikes the man out. One down, one on. Miguel Arias up. Miguel Arias is going to hit a fly ball to center. That should be played by Lance Johnson, and he is. And now we got two down with a man at first. We're ahead by, or we're down by a run. And Francisco Mendoza up. And he is going to hit a fly ball to center field. Now we've got to try to get a run. We're going to the top of the seventh, I believe. And we are. And uh, Darren Jackson is up. And Darren Jackson gets a base hit. Maybe they'll take the moose out. I would love to see the moose taken out of this game. Because he's good. And uh, Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Come on, man. Hit a two-run home run and put us ahead. Uh, or Not a double play, but you didn't hit a double play. Still. That was not what I expect from you. Julio Franco is up. And what was that? A balk? A, a balk for Messina. All right. We'll take it. And uh, Franco up. Franco striking out. Come on. And that brings up Robin Gunch. That game better against the right-handed Moose. And it's going to be a... So we're still down by a run. And probably still going to keep... Yeah. I mean, I think he's still got some stuff left in the tank. And I would rather see... Ooh, he walked him. I'd rather see him try to get through the seventh at least. Because one, one thing in this game you want to make sure you don't do is burn up your board. Because, man, you don't want to go into games where you have a, a, a tight board. And that is going to be a home run. Coils is up. That was Ripken Jr. playing second base. Okay, I take it back. Ripken Jr. is good. Uh, Nick McEwen. Nick McEwen, come on, you made that play good. All right, well, we're down by three now. We got, we've got issues. We got problems. And Messina. I mean, he won't make it through the game, but he might make it through this inning, and that might be just really enough. Because this is the eighth. <coughs> um, Karkovice is out. Karkovice strikes out. And how's he get? Ozzy Giesen strikes out. Oh, and I didn't warm anybody up. All right, I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> I'm going to get right on that right now. We are going to warm up McCaskill. And then we are going to pitch with McDowell, and he does get the first out. And that's going to be, ooh, that was a nice play by Ventura, and he got the guy out. But let's go see if uh, McCaskill's ready. I don't think he is. 
Now he's still warming up. All right, we'll go back to game action. And he struck him out. All right. Well, I mean, if we don't get any runs here, it doesn't really matter. If we don't get three runs here, it doesn't really matter. So Felix Fermin is the batter. And they do have a reliever on. And Felix Fermin looks like Felix. So he did. One down, Lance Jones. They walk Lance Johnson. They're down by three, though. They need at least another man on it, and then a big bang. <coughs> Darren Jackson. Darren Jackson hits a, gets a base hit. Two on. Now if we get a home run here, we tie the game. And as luck would have it, Frank Thomas is up. And pitching is Armando Benitez. We're taking Armando Benitez apart. And they walk. Frank Thomas. Now a home run puts us ahead. And it's Julio Franco. He can do it. He can do it. But he doesn't. He flies out. Uh, do I have any other... I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I had any home run, I mean, Ventura's good. And he's a lefty on a right. So. But that's going to be a pop-out. And we lose the game. Yep, we lose the game. So we'll take a look at that. 6-3, um, man. Hammonds, 3-for-3. Three three. Hammonds! Cal Ripken delivered a two-run home run. Yeah, he did. So we'll take a look at the box. I'll let you guys take a look at the box score here for a sec. Just to see how everybody did on opening day here. Uh, the good thing is I didn't use the bullpen. The bad thing is McDowell gave up six runs and lost. So we will leave the game and we will review ro rotation. We'll finish today. And uh, we lost Pfeiffer to AAA Santa Clara. I didn't, I didn't think he was... <coughs> even on the active roster, but anyway. So anyway, we are 0-1, and, and that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.